if the act is caused with the intention of causing injury and the injury is sufficient in the ordinary course of nature to cause death that means so good morning everybody my name is vishal and i am a faculty of moodus is so i'll be taking your law optional exam or i'll be taking the law optional subject for mains examination basically in the mains examination we have two law optional papers or we can say two more papers and one optional subject paper 1 and paper 2 so in paper 2 we have a subject called as law of crimes basically law of crimes is nothing but the former ipc or the current bns bhate nahi sahi tha fortunately we don't have the crpc and cpc and the evidence act because they are procedural laws we have the substantive law that is the bns under bns we have a chapter of offenses related to body offenses related to body or human body so in this there is a very important or we can say there are very important provisions of culpable homicide and murder basically <clears throat> now basically first of all we have to understand this topic in detail because the difference between culpable homicide and murder this topic has intrigued even the courts of this country for so long basically because the difference between culpable homicide and murder is quite thing and they seems to be overlapping over each other first of all we have to understand that they are not two distinct offenses they are basically overlapping offenses or we can say that culpable in german parlance we refer to that culpable homicide is a genus and murder is a species that means all the murders are culpable homicides but all the culpable homicides are not murders so all the murders are culpable homicides and all the culpable homicides are not murder that means <clears throat> murder is a culpable homicide with special character 6 or we can say this special character 6 is increased gravity of offense that's why we'll see that the punishment of murder under the bns or we can say the former ipc is more than <clears throat> culpable homicide or we can say the culpable homicide not amounting to murder so there are basically two offenses one is murder and one is culpable homicide not amounting to murder so the punishment of murder is more and the culpable homicides there are two kind of punishment in culpable homicide not amounting to murder so we'll discuss that in our another classes the punishment today we'll discuss the substantive part so murder is a gravest form of culpable homicide you can say this so first we have the culpable homicide then we have its gravest form that is the murder so now we'll discuss the differences between murder and culpable homicide first of all you have to understand what is culpable homicide and before that we have to understand what is homicide homicide means killing of a person if somebody kills another person a kills b a shoots b that is homicide <clears throat> now culpable homicide means homicide or we can say the killing of a person that is an offense or that is basically punished according to law so that means there must be some killings that are not culpable or that are not punished by law how can it so be how can be a killing of a person by another person be not held guilty in the code of law code of law <clears throat> so basically if 
देर इज अक्शन और देर इज अ चैप्टर इन द इंडियन पीनियल कोड और वी कैन से द नाउ भारतीय न्याय संहिता दैट इज द राइट ऑफ प्रियबेट डिफेंस दैट मीन्स इफ पर्सन हैज किल्ड सम वन while exercising his right of private defense right of private defense means that every person has a right to protect himself and it's a basically a logical thing it's a basically a logical deduction if somebody is getting harmed or somebody is about to be harmed or somebody else if I, if i try and wait for the assistance from the police authorities or from some another authorities in the meanwhile the person will harm, harm me so the law confers the right of private defense to every person that a person has a right to defend his body his property as well as the body and property of other people so now while exercising the right of private defense under <clears throat> section 38 of bns if person kills another person that killing is not considered as a culpable homicide that is homicide but that is not culpable homicide so we have <clears throat> now what are those right of private defense you see the right of private defense of the body extends to voluntarily causing of death or any other harm to the assailant if somebody is trying to attack if a is trying to attack b <clears throat> so b can cause the death of a in what circumstances if <clears throat> such an assault as may reasonably cause the apprehension that death will be consequence that means if a assaulting b in such a manner if a is trying to stab b with a knife obviously when you are trying to stab b with uh, when you are trying to stab a person with a knife there is <clears throat> a reasonable concern is in the mind of b that if a is successful b will die he will die so obviously he can in his defense <clears throat> kill a in that he is exercising the right of private defense and he is not committing a culpable homicide so there are many other <coughs> provision that give the right of private defense even to the extent of causing the death of the assailant like any assault that cause an apprehension that grave hurt will otherwise be the consequence or if somebody is assaulting a person or a women with an objective of committing rape or somebody is making an assault with the intention of gratifying a natural lust of somebody is assaulting somebody with the intention of kidnapping or abducting so all of these in certain scenarios in these scenarios the person <coughs> or the victim or the prospective victim he can exercise his right to private defense so coming back <coughs> so now culpable homicide see there are certain ing- ingredients of culpable homicide and murder so while deciding that an offense if an offense has been committed and the courts have to decide that whether it is an offense of culpable homicide or murder basically a certain ingredients in the offense or we can say certain ingredients have to be fulfilled <clears throat> the court has in the case of state of andhra pradesh versus r punaiya the court has basically laid down certain directions or we can say the court has basically make certain observations regarding how to categorize an offense as a murder or a culpable homicide so first of all if an offense has to be categorized or classified as culpable homicide or murder first of all it has to be see that the act has caused the death the first thing is causation of death by an act so first thing is there should be an act and that act has caused the death of some person for example a shoots b now in this a has committed an act of shooting b and the consequence is that b has died now this is fulfilled the next step is to ascertain whether the ingredients of section 100 are being fulfilled or not whether the facts of circumstances of case are such that they are invoking section 100 or whether the ingredients in section 100 are getting fulfilled or not so if an act has caused a death 
and the thing is <clears throat> the act was done with the intention of causing death the most important thing is intention one thing more basically there is a concept of act mens rea that means the guilty mind guilty mind if a person has committed an act with the guilty mind the act is an offense or in another words if a person has committed an act without a guilty mind or mens rea the act is not an offense no in section 100 and section 101 we'll see what are the essentials of that guilty mind that there must be knowledge or intention either of causing death or causing bodily injuries that have the probability of causing death so one thing is if a person has committed an act with the knowledge first of all we will come to intention if a person has committed an act with an intention of causing either bodily injury or death it is culpable homicide listen to me carefully now what do we understand by intention courts have stated in multiple cases intention mean see if a person is doing an act if a person is committing an act व्यक्ति की कार्य कर रहे एंड ही ऑब्वियसली एवरीबडी नोज दर देर बी सर्टन कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ एन एक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई हिट दिस ब्लैक बोर्ड विदर्टन फोर्स ऑब्वियसली इट इज नॉट अ ब्लैक बोर्ड दिस इज पैनल एल ईडी पैनल इफ आई हिट द ब्लैक बोर्ड विद अर्टन फोर्स एंड आई एम अ वेरी मस्कुलर गाय आई एज यू माई सेल्फ टू बी ऑब्वियसली देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी देर विल बी कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस दैट द स्क्रीन विल गेट क्रैक डाउन so there is an act of hitting this blackboard and there are consequences of skin screen getting cracked up so for every act there are certain foreseeable consequences so if a parting person is committing an act so he must be having an awareness of the consequences of the act that is called as knowledge now when for example when i'm hitting this blackboard with my hand with my fist close fist so i have a knowledge that the blackboard can get cracked or the panel can get now what is intention the thing is intention means that i desire to cause the cracking i want that the blackboard or the panel should be cracked up i am committing an act i am thrashing this panel with my hand and i want that the blackboard or the panel should crack up my intention or my <clears throat> i want to ensure that the blackboard should crack up so this is intention first case is i have a knowledge i have an awareness that because of my hitting the blackboard the cracks can open up and second is i want i desire i want to ensure that the crack opens up that is intention knowledge ke andar mujhe jankari hai intention mein meri ichcha hai okay so these basically perform from the mens rea so now if a person is causing an act <clears throat> or if a person is causing an act and by that act death is caused and the person has intention of causing death wo chahta tha ki mrityu ho uske is karan se that means the person has committed culpable homicide suppose a person a shoots b in the head obviously if you shooting somebody in the head it can be a certain reduced from the facts and circumstances that he wanted that the person should die everybody understand everybody know the consequences of shooting a person in the head kise nahi pata even now the children know because children are getting exposed to all this violent stuff in the internet they also know that if you shooting someone with the gun wo bachcho wali gun nahi with the original gun with the handgun or with the rifle in the head the person will die so you know the consequences of shooting person in the head that means by after knowing the consequences you you are shooting the person in the head that means you are intending that the person should die so if the person is causing death by doing an in act intentionally that is culpable homicide one thing the second ingredient is if a person has caused death by doing an act with an intention of causing bodily injury that is likely to cause death 
so now here the focus is the person is doing an act with an intention of causing the bodily injury that means the intention here is aapki ichcha hai that you want to inflict such a body injury on the person you want you are doing an act and your intention in intention is your ichcha is that you want a bodily injury on that person as is likely to cause death likely means probability chances hain now the second ingredient is that a person is committing an act a person is person has caused death by committing an act and the, his intention was to cause such a bodily injury that can cause or that has a probability of causing death suppose i don't i know no i don't want to take my example i am a very law abiding citizen a stabs b in the stomach obviously now when a is stabbing b the intention of a is to cause an injury to b as a mazak mazak mein churi nahi maar dega na koi if somebody is stabbing someone so obviously there is an intention now intention here is stabbing b a is stabbing b and obviously why is he stabbing because he have an intention that b will get an injury and if that injury is likely to cause death that becomes the offense of culpable homicide for example if a stabs b and because of that injury b dies now a has the intention of stabbing b in the stomach and the injury is such that it has the possibility or probability of causing the death of the person who has been stabbed so now the person has committed the act of culpable homicide another example a person a stabs b in the leg here what do we call this calf area you are stabbing there now your intention is to cause injury bodily injury but the bodily injury is not likely to cause death pair mein churi maarne se ya halka sa chaku maarne se kisi ki maut thodi na ho jayegi so here your intention was to cause a bodily injury but that bodily injury was not such or it was not of a certain nature that can cause death so here basically you are not competing agar aapne kisi ke pair mein churi maar di and unfortunately the person died so basically now the question will be before the court whether you committed a offence of culpable homicide or not and more likely that you will get a <coughs> benefit or you will get basically you will not be held guilty of culpable homicide because aapne jo kaam kiya hai the act you have caused it is not or the injury that you have caused it is not likely to cause death pair mein chaku maarne se kisi maut thodi na ho jayegi right but if you are stabbing someone with an objective of <coughs> causing an injury to his hurt yahan maar rahe hain So obviously there is a likelihood that the hurt of the person or the internal organs of the person will be injured and there is a likelihood of death third when whoever causes death by doing an act kisne aisa karya kiya jisse ek vyakti ki mrityu hui with the knowledge that he is likely by such act to cause death commits the offense of culpable homicide so here basically there was intention aapki ichcha thi किस पे इंजरी देने की या किसी की मृत्यु करने की नाउ हेयर यू डोंट हैव द इंटेंशन हेयर यू हैव द नॉलेज यू हैव द नॉलेज यू आर अवेयर दैट यू आर कॉजिंग अ बॉडीली इंजरी टू समवन एंड द बॉडीली इंजरी इज सच और वी कैन से यू आर डूइंग सर्टेन थिंग यू हैव डन सर्टेन थिंग एंड यू नो दैट सर्टेन थिंग देयर आर चांसेस दैट द पर्सन विल डाई again the third thing is the third example is there is no intention but there is knowledge to yahan par aapki ichha nahi hai par aapko jankari hai you have committed death of a person by doing an act and you have the knowledge that aapko pata hai that <coughs> such act can or such act is likely to cause death you are committing an act a pushes b A ne B ko push kiya. B B B was basically standing on the first floor. He was standing on the balcony or the corridor of the first floor. And A pushed B from the back. Uh, back. He basically voluntarily, out of his own volition, he pushed B. So obviously A or us dhakke se kya hua? B fell into the onto the ground and because of the injury sustained by B, because of the collision, B died. So now A has caused death by doing an act. And obviously A had a knowledge that if I push B, B will fall into onto the ground. he will have he will incur certain inj- inflict uh, <coughs> he will basically get certain injuries and that act is likely to cause death 
so when a pushes b to the ground and b dies of the consequence a before pushing had the knowledge everybody has that knowledge if a is major and if he is not of unsound mind agar wo pagal nahi hai so he must be having that awareness that by pushing b to the ground or by pushing b from the first floor that is likely to happen likely mean probability hai there is a probability that b will die so by doing uh, <coughs> so the first thing is if there is a commission of an act and the act has caused death so first of all we have to look at these three ingredients if any of the ingredient is fulfilled that means offense of culpable homicide has been committed now there are certain illustrations provided in the act itself to provide certain or uh, provide more clarity see a lay stick and turf over a pit with the intention of thereby causing death or with the knowledge that the death is likely to be thereby caused jet believing the ground to be firm treads on it now what happened basically there is a tough there is a gadda and basically a he has intentionally basically placed certain sticks uske upar kuch lakadiyan bichha di certain sticks obviously you can inform from the act of a that he is doing this of his intention ab ab zameen khadde ke upar aise to lakadiyan bichhaoge nahi obviously you are not an idiot man that you will basically lay down sticks on a pit on a turf you are doing it with certain intention so intention can be that you want that somebody can step over that pit assuming it to be a firm ground and fall into the pit and die so here you have intention of causing death or you have a knowledge you also have awareness that if somebody steps over the pit and he can fall in obviously death can be the consequence so in this case basically a has committed the offense of culpable homicide either he has the intention that means he basically fulfilled this requisite or secondly he has done the act with the knowledge that death may happen so in the first illustration ingredient a or ingredient c have been fulfilled so it is an offense of culpable homicide second a knows z to be behind a bush b does not know it a intending to cause or knowing to cause is likely to cause z, z death induces b to fire at the bush you know there is a bush jhadi hai and b is standing behind the bush i know that or a know that basically main apne aap ko kyun le aata hu har beech mein a know it basically and a know that z is standing behind the bush but another person comes in b b does not know that z is behind the bush now what happens is a said to b that fire at the bush and b thought basically nobody standing there is nobody so firing on an empty bush will have no consequence so now basically a induces him and b pushes the ob pulls the trigger and z dies basically so now what happens is here b does not have the intention or neither he has the knowledge this is a kitna acha example hai the b ke paas neither he has the intention of causing death or causing bodily harm neither he has the nor he has the knowledge neither he has the intention nor he has the knowledge but a has the intention or a has the knowledge that death can happen so here a has committed the offense of culpable homicide not b okay so moving forward murder first of all we have understood three ingredients of culpable homicide there are four ingredients that a death has been caused by an act first there is intention of causing death second intention of causing bodily injury that has the probability of causing death or third a person has done or there is has an act done with the knowledge that death can happen now murder now the thing is first if an act has been categorized as kal payable homicide i'm writing short now you have to see whether the culpable homicide falls in the category of murder or not whether this culpable homicide is murder or not if it fulfills any of this four criteria then the culpable homicide will become murder and if not it will become culpable homicide not amounting to murder so pehle aapko dekhna hai ki if there is a culpable homicide then you have to see whether the culpable homicide is a murder or not so now how can be a culpable homicide categorized as murder first 
where the death is caused with the intention of causing death this is the same that means if a death is caused with intention of causing death if somebody has committed an act with the intent of causing uski ichcha hai ki vyakti mar jaye to that is culpable homicide as well as murder to so, culpable homicide ban gaya murder secondly if the act by which the death is caused is done with the intention of causing such bodily injury now this is very important such bodily injury as the offender knows likely to cause the death of the person to whom the harm is caused now in this there is an act and because of that act death is caused and the intention of the person who is committing that act was to cause cause such bodily injury the intention was to cause such bodily injury as the offender knows and the person who is committing that act he knows that there is a probability that he will cause the death of the person so there is intention of causing or causing a bodily injury aapne ek aisa injury kiya samne wale ko and you know the person who has caused the injury he knows that that <coughs> this injury will cause the death of the person to whom the harm is caused so this is a specific this basically provision add specificity that means it is saying that offender knows that certain injury can cause a death of the person matlab a knows that if i cause this injury to b there is probability that b will die there is a possibility that if the same injury is commit done to c c will not die now what is the difference ho sakta hai b bimar ho pehle se there is a probability that b is ill ye illustration se samjhte hain c a knowing that z is harboring laboring under disease that a blow is likely to cause his death strikes him with the intention of causing bodily injury now here a knows that z is ill wo bimar hai and he basically strike him with the intention of causing bodily injury usne usko mara basically now the thing is there might be a possibility that such bodily injury would have not caused the death of somebody else but because of the peculiar condition of a there was a chances that a will die of such bodily injury so now in this facts in the facts the culpable homicide will become murder because there is a degree of there is a higher degree of probability there is a higher degree of probability and the person committing the act has higher degree of knowledge that he will cause the death third by which if an act by which the death is caused is done with the intention of causing bodily injury and the bodily injury is sufficient in the ordinary cause of business to cause death it is very simple the first thing is somebody is committing an act to give body injury obviously the thing is if a person is committing or person is killing someone he, how can he kill a person obviously he can kill a person by inflicting a body injury hawa mein to tum mar nahi jayega na koi obviously you have to inflict certain body injury or you have to do certain thing and the consequence of that injury and the thing is death so your intention is knowledge of now what you are doing is basically your focus is on that thing on that act and that act will basically cause death now the thing is if the act is caused with the intention of causing injury and the injury is sufficient in the ordinary course of nature to cause death that means again there is a very high degree of probability jaise jaise probability jo hai wo zyada hoti jayegi waise waise the gravity of offense will increase in culpable homicide we will see that there is a knowledge a person is committing an act that with a knowledge that death can happen he knows basically but here he knows in this section in this provision he knows that the act is sufficient wo apne aap mein basically itna zabardast act hai that death can happen so think again we will take an example shooting a person in the head now obviously even the child knows basically if you were shooting someone in the head basically this will cause an injury that will basically that is ordinary or that is sufficient to cause death so if somebody shoots somebody in the head obviously <coughs> the injury is sufficient to cause death and now another example is the person is shooting in the stomach now here basically 
there are chances of death there is a probability of death or there is a probability of that 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 might not happen because people are saved ab is area ke andar in the towers of somebody shot basically there is two there are two probabilities person will die or person will not die but if you are shooting somebody in the head there is higher probability or we can say there is sufficient probability that the person will die <clears throat> so if somebody is causing such bodily injury that is sufficient to cause death obviously so ab obviously if you are basically throwing somebody from the 15th floor and you are throwing somebody from the first floor if you are throwing somebody from the first floor basically there are chances there is a probability but if you are throwing somebody from the 15th floor there are there is 99.99% probability higher degree of probability that the person will die and that second example will become culpable homicide amounting to murder and the last is if the person committing the act by which death is caused knows that it is so dangerous a person is committing an act that is so dangerous that in all probability he can cause death or bodily injury like in the cold now the focus here is a person is not intending to cause death, intending to cause death he is basically committing such act that is dangerous and the act has the probability of causing death example iska dete hain c a without an excuse fires a loaded can into a crowd of person and kills one of them now basically there is a person who is carrying a cannon cannon hoti hai tope theek hai the person is carrying a cannon and the person is firing in the crowd now the person can and the, obviously <clears throat> some person someone in the crowd dies now the person will take and defends that i have no intention of killing this person but the thing is you have committed or a has committed an act basically which is so dangerous that in all probability he will call death ki pure chances hai ki death ho jayegi ab agar aap bheed mein tope ka gola maroge to obviously there are 99% chances that somebody will die and if somebody dies of that consequence somebody die as a consequence of that act murder has been committed so the now here the culpable homicide will become murder so first of all we have to see that whether an act categorizes as culpable homicide and if it basically fulfills the requirement of or the ingredients of culpable homicide then we'll see basically whether it fulfills the requirement of murder if an act does not fulfill the requirement of murder or act does not fulfill these four conditions then basically it will be a culpable homicide not amounting to murder so i hope this video was informative so for more of such videos please stay tuned with lotus eyes thank you